Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll explain you radio wave propagation. Before I start with my explanation, let me show you how many points that I'm going to cover in this video. See here, I'll be explaining about basics of radio wave propagation and I'll also cover propagation path of radio wave propagation. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of radio wave propagation. See radio wave propagation happens in free space or you can say that happens in air. Here if you observe we have transmitting antenna that is connected with transmitter and here we have receiving antenna that is connected with receiver. Here transmitting antenna that will be sending EM waves right that will be sending EM waves and this EM waves are radio wave that one can say and this EM waves that will be received by receiving antenna. So here communication channel is free space or one can say communication channel is air. So radio wave propagation that happens in free space, right? But this is simple model of communication system. If you talk about practical situation of radio wave propagation, then in that we have three different modes of propagation. See first mode is surface wave propagation that is also known as ground wave propagation. Second mode of radio wave propagation is sky wave propagation that is also referred as ionospheric wave propagation. And third mode of wave propagation is space wave propagation that is also known as line of sight propagation. Now I'll explain you how exactly these radio waves are propagated by these three different modes. So here you can observe we have transmitting antenna and here we have receiving antenna and these antennas are situated at long distance you can observe. This is curvature of earth and at Pakistan and at China we have placed two antennas. At Pakistan we have transmitting antenna and at China we have receiving antenna. Pakistan and China are good friends of each other, right? That's why they are communicating by these two antennas. Now here, let us talk about how ground wave propagation happens or one can say how surface wave propagation happens. See in surface wave, you will be observing waves are propagated along with the surface. So you can observe here, we have surface of earth and along the surface, ground wave propagation happens. In ground wave propagation, radio waves are propagating along with the ground. Here, there will be bending of EM waves as and when we have ground wave propagation. The reason is, here transmitting antenna and receiving antenna cannot see each other directly. Here, with bending of electromagnetic waves, these waves are propagating if you talk about ground wave propagation, then that is possible up to 2 megahertz of frequency. In detail, I'll be making separate video by which you will be able to understand how exactly ground wave propagation happens. But right now consider ground wave propagation that happens along with the ground and here there will be bending of electromagnetic waves and this ground wave propagation that happens up to 2 megahertz of frequency only. Now I'll be discussing about second method that is space wave propagation. In space wave propagation, electromagnetic waves that will be traveling in a straight line. That's why it is also referred as line of sight communication. So line of sight that is also referred as space wave propagation. In space wave propagation, transmitting antenna and receiving antenna that can see each other. The reason is here propagation of electromagnetic waves that will happen in a straight line. Now third method that is sky wave propagation. Sky wave propagation happens from two different layers of earth. In sky we have troposphere as well as we have ionosphere. If you talk about troposphere then troposphere that is placed at the distance of 16 kilometer from the earth surface and as and when this transmitting antenna is sending signal towards sky there will be 
reflection of EM wave from troposphere and it will go to receiving antenna. Here there are two things that is happening. One is reflection and there can be scattering of EM waves. So because of reflected signal from troposphere, it will come back on earth surface and here we will be having receiving antenna. So here troposphere that is placed at 16 km height from the earth surface from where EM wave is getting reflected back on earth surface. Here we have ionosphere. If you observe ionosphere, then that is there at height of 50 to 400 km. So whatever signal that we transmit in a space that will go towards ionosphere and from ionosphere there will be reflection of signal and it will come back on our surface and it will be received by receiving antenna. So whatever EM waves that is getting reflected back from the troposphere or ionosphere and, and it is received by receiving antenna over here, this mode of propagation is referred as sky wave propagation, right. So in total, we are having three different modes of propagation, ground wave propagation that happens along with the ground, line of sight means space wave propagation that happens in straight line with transmitting and receiving antenna and we have sky wave propagation in which there will be reflection of EM wave from the layer and it will come back to receiving antenna over here. These three modes of propagation that I'll be explaining in great details in next coming videos. Here I have just given brief idea about how propagation path is there. I hope you have understood this. Still, if anything that you would like to share, just note it down in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.